this is prostate gland this one is model of prostate gland this is urinary bladder all of this is urinary bladder this is prostate gland in black color this is the lateral lobe of the prostate gland actually the prostate gland it is the main reproductive reproductive gland of the uh, male reproductive system and its weight is 20 to 40 gram it constitute uh, prostate gland constitute 30 percent of the seminal uh, seminal fluid the seminal vesicle constitute 70 percent bulbourethral uh, bulbourethral gland 10 percent 70 30 and 10 okay so the seminal fluid uh, the prostatic secretion is only 30 percent is uh, dimension is 3 into 4 into 2 centimeter that is length is 3 centimeter width is 4 and the uh, breadth is uh, uh, is uh, the this one is length is 3 centimeter and the 4 and this is 4 centimeter and this diameter is the 2 centimeter and teroposterior and the transverse and vertical okay and this is um, uh, the uh, that type of organ in which the breadth is more than the length uh, and the others are the pons iliac trunk uh, cecum like this okay now prostate gland it lies in the around the proximal part of the urethra this is the urinary bladder and the urethra this suppose this is the urinary bladder and this is the urethra it occupy the proximal part of the urethra whole of this is urethra and this is now come to the it lies uh, about the relation it lies uh, posterior to the pubic symphysis and uh, there anteriorly there is retropubic space of red gears and there is puboprostatic ligament this in green color this two are puboprostatic ligament and the posteriorly this is rectum and this is fossa of denon velar okay the retro the rectovesical pouch this is the urinary bladder recto uh, this is rectum and this is urinary bladder rectovesical pouch the peritoneal fold in between the rectum and the urinary bladder it is again divided as it lies uh, behind the urinary bladder as well as in the prostate so lower part is known as the pouch of denon wheeler but this pouch after some time obliterate and remain as a fossa that fossa is called the fossa of denon wheeler this one is fossa of denon wheeler it is attached on the posterior surface of the prostate and the anterior surface of the rectum it is firmly adherent with the prostate and loosely adherent with the rectum and uh, this is supposed to be brace of god tendon as it delays the prostate it uh, retard the infection the prostatic cancer is spread from prostate to rectum it retard okay now eh, regarding this anatomical uh, anatomical uh, anatomically it has got the this is anterior lobe okay and this one is median lobe this in black color is the lateral lobe in yellow color this is the posterior lobe anterior lobe lies anterior to the urethra this is urinary bladder and here is the this one is urethra so anterior to urethra is the anterior lobe but anterior lobe is 
laterally as well as the anteriorly surrounded by the lateral lobe. This in black color and this is the cavity of the lateral lobe. So whole of this is covered laterally by the lateral lobe posterior to the urethra but this these two are the seminal vesicle and it lies behind the urinary bladder and above the prostate this seminal vesicle and this is the ejaculatory duct so this is the middle lobe or median lobe which lies in between the urethra and the ejaculatory duct this one is the ejaculatory duct they are two in number from the seminal vesicle going to the prostatic urethra you can understand this is the urinary bladder and this is the urethra that portion of urethra which lies inside the substance of prostate passing through is called prostatic urethra okay here is the membranous urethra, urogenital. Uh, this is the prostatic urethra. Here lies the urogenital diaphragm. So, membranous urethra lies over here, and here is the penile urethra. Okay. So, uh, the anterior lobe lies anterior to the prostatic urethra, and the middle or median lobe lies in between the prostatic urethra and the ejaculatory duct this is the middle or median lobe now posterior lobe lies posteriorly and in the middle there is a groove which can be palpated by per rectal examination digital per rectal examination okay so it has got anterior lobe middle or median lobe two lateral lobe and one posterior lobe about the surface it has got anterior surface two inferolateral surface prostate is invert like inverted pyramid it has got one base and below there is apex base lies just near the apex of the urinary bladder this is the base or superior surface and below there is apex so and it has got anterior surface two inferolateral surface one posterior surface and the superior surface or base and one apex okay now it is uh, all around covered by a pseudo capsule this is the pseudo capsule in red color uh, all over there is this is the condensation of fibromuscular tissue prostate gland it is uh, uh, 30 percent of the prostate gland is the fibromuscular tissue or a stroma where is the 70 percent it is gland glandular tissue so fibromuscular tissue the peripheral condensation of fibromuscular tissue forms the pseudo capsule of the prostate and uh, external to that there is fos capsule this is supposed to be this uh, this is fibromuscular condensation actually it is pseudo capsule but is it is regarded as the true capsule and this uh, this is um, the pelvic fossa and it forms the fos capsule this pelvic fossa it uh, it is lacking anteriorly and apically there is no fossa you can see and anteriorly there is uh, pubo-prostatic ligament and here is the fossa is the laterally inferolateral surface is in direct touch with the levator and eye fossa this is the levator and eye this is the rectum and this is anus and this is the pelvic floor and below Below this is the urogenital diaphragm. This is the urogenital in white color. This one is the urogenital diaphragm, which is pierced by the uh, pierced uh, after the prostatic urethra. It forms the membranous membranous urethra where it pierces, and the laterally it is in relation with the levator and eye fossa, 
and posteriorly by the denonvillar fossa. And these fossa, posteriorly by denonvillar and the laterally by the levator and eye, this forms the false capsule. And this is regarded as the true capsule. And uh, the false capsule is lacking anteriorly and apically. In between these two capsules, this is the venous plexus or prostatic venous plexus or santorini venous plexus. Okay. So, uh, regarding relation, anteriorly there is pubic symphysis and retropubic space of red GS, prostatic ligament. Laterally, there is uh, levator and eye fossa and the uh, venous plexus, prostatic venous plexus. Posteriorly, there is fossa of denon wheeler, rectum, okay, rectum. And uh, superiorly, there is uh, neck of the urinary bladder and then so, seminal vesicle, both sides. Okay. And inferiorly, there is urogenital diaphragm. Mm, okay. This is the relation. Now, coming to the functional class classification. This, uh, if we cut the uh, cross um, the sagittal section. So the right section of the prostate, what we see that it's uh, the this is the central this is the central zone in green color. This is the central zone. It forms most of the base or superior surface. And it constitutes twenty five percent of the prostatic volume. It is around the ejaculatory duct. Ejaculatory duct, which carries the seminal vesicle secretion into the prostatic urethra. So, ejaculatory duct is surrounded by a central zone, and this is the transitional zone. It is only five percent. It is around the prostatic urethra, but inferiorly, it is not surrounding. Inferiorly and the laterally and the posteriorly, there is a cup shaped. This is the in white color. This is the peripheral zone, and it is cup shaped. It is laterally. It is posteriorly. It is inferiorly. The distal urethra, post distal prostatic urethra, is surrounded by the peripheral zone. This peripheral zone, it is uh, most commonly affected by the prostatic carcinoma. And this transitional zone in yellow color constitute only 5% of the prostatic volume. Uh, it, it is mainly affected by the BPS, benign prostatic hypertrophy. And this is the central gland, uh, central zone and it forms most of the base. And really, and uh, somewhat epically, this peripheral zone is absent and this is known as fibromuscular estroma. Okay. Anterior fibromuscular estroma, AFMS. And uh, this central zone, it is derived from the Wolfian duct. Embryologically, it is developed from Wolfian duct. And this transitional zone as well as the peripheral zone is from the urogenital sinus. Okay. Now, it is uh, the prostate is supplied by the inferior vesicle as it lies on the inferior aspect of the urinary bladder. So, its blood supplies the inferior vesicle artery and sometimes by the middle rectal artery. And the venous drainage is by the prostatic venous plexus which is which lies in between the false capsule. In between this is the true capsule and the false capsule in between these two okay and so uh, we um, when we do prostatectomy we just uh, so during prostatectomy these two capsule leaving behind in, in the body and the enucleation of the prostate done so that it cannot be tampered this prostatic venous plexus because the tampering the disturbing this venous plexus will lead to severe hemorrhage okay 
and there is uh, okay regarding i am talking about the venous drainage so this is the prostatic venous plexus and uh, this will drain into the internal iliac vein and uh, this prostatic venous plexus as well as that this is the pudendal canal this is the issue anal uh, fossa which lies just by the side of the anal canal and this is the obturator fossa and this is the pelvic floor so here is the pudendal canal and uh, here lies the pudendal vein so pudendal vein as well as the prostatic venous plexus both drain into the internal iliac vein as well as uh, it has a uh, communication with the batson venous plexus batson venous plexus b for batson and b for bicholia बिचौलिया का काम करता है किसके किसके बीच में इन दोनों इन लोगों के बीच में जो पर्दा नसी हैं कौन है पर्दा नसी पी आर डी पर्दा पी फॉर प्रोस्टेट आर फॉर रेक्टम एंड डी फॉर एंड डबल डी डबल डी है ब्लैडर में तो वो डी ले लेते हैं तो पर्दा सो ब्लैडर रेक्टम एंड द प्रोस्टेट और किसके बीच और इंटरनल वर्टिब्रल भेनस प्लेक्सस दोनों के बीच बिचौलिया का काम कर रहा है बैटसन भेनस प्लेक्सस तो ये बैटसन भेनस प्लेक्सस से भी इसका कम्युनिकेशन है जिसके थ्रू बैटसन भेनस प्लेक्स ऐसा भेनस प्लेक्स है जिसमें कोई वॉग नहीं है और उससे वो वर्टिब्रल भेनस प्लेक्स इंटरनल वर्टिब्रल भेनस प्लेक्सस से होते हुए वो कैमरना साइनस तक जा सकता है थ्रू द फोरम एंड मैगनम उधर से होके सो these are about the venous drainage and the lymphatic drainage is through the internal iliac lymph node uh, as well as the obturator lymph node obturator and the internal iliac lymph node and one thing more that the median lobe this is the median lobe uh, it um, it's a must project out inside the urinary bladder uh, as well as in the Uh, prostatic urethra prostatic urethra is in front of the median lobe and just above this urinary bladder so it uh, sends the uvula vesicae in the urinary bladder and in the prostatic uh, urethra the um, uh, bulging created by the median lobe of the prostate due to the uh, hypertrophy uh, is the veru montanum okay that bulging is called veru montanum and that in the urinary bladder it is called uvula vesicae so and about the ligament i have told uvoprostatic and there is uh, another fossa fossa dentin villa and this is levetrinae fossa blood supply histology and the gross anatomy okay thank you